What's wrong, Thomas? You seem a bit quiet. Sorry, Percy. I... Well, I saw something strange up at the clay pits yesterday. Really? What did you see? I'm not sure. I think I saw footprints, but I need to take another look. Footprints? Thomas! Did you go back to the clay pits? Did you find out what made those footprints? I tried, Percy, but the area was closed off after the landslide. So maybe you should stick to your railway jobs, Thomas. Instead of going around chasing footprints and causing landslides. Why are you so worried about some footprints anyway? Because I don't know what could have made them, Percy. They were footprints. They were very big footprints. Bigger than any animal on Sodor. <gasps> you mean they were footprints from a monster? A monster, you say? Honest. The things you engines come up with. Don't be silly, Percy. There's no such thing as monsters. Okay, Thomas. I hope you're right. Dark, and Thomas finally returned to Tidmouth Sheds. He was very surprised to find Percy still in his berth. Percy, aren't you supposed to be taking the mail train? You should have left by now. I know, Thomas. But last night, I kept seeing things that looked like monsters. Monsters? <laughs> A monster? They weren't really monsters. They were only silly things, like a haystack or a shirt on the line. But there could still be a monster out there. Please, Thomas, will you take the mail train for me? Just tonight? All right, Percy. I suppose I could. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. You're a good friend. <laughs> oh, Percy, you're such a scaredy angel. No monsters? No monsters. But what about the footprints? It was dark and stormy that night in the clay pits. I don't even know for sure that I saw any footprints. You should try to get some sleep, Percy. There's nothing to worry about. Hello, Thomas. Guess what? Um, let me see. Have you been asked to deliver a giant balloon on a flatbed? No! I've decided to be brave and take the mail train tonight. Oh, so you're not feeling scared about monsters anymore? Being brave is not the same as being scared, Thomas. Being brave is about what you do when you do feel scared. Gator told me that. Good luck, Percy. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, it's coming to get me. It's right behind me. I know it is. The monster. The monster. Percy. I saw it. I really saw it. <laughs> Silly Percy. There's no such thing as monsters. You probably saw another head. <laughs> oh, yes. A haystack. Or a shirt on the line. Maybe you were just dreaming. You're all wrong. It was a monster with spikes and teeth and claws. Stop it. That's enough. Tell them, Thomas. Tell them. There are monsters on Sodor. You saw those enormous footprints. Tell them. Uh, well, I... I don't know what I saw, Percy, or what you saw either, but I don't think it could have really been a monster. There's no such thing as monsters. Edward is right. No such thing. Never was and never will be. Remember what happened when you first saw Gator? You must have seen something you thought looked like a monster again. <laughs> oh yes, Percy, admit it. You're just a scaredy angel. James, <laughs> you got a fright when you saw Gator too. 
No, I didn't. I just missed a signal in the dark. I wasn't scared. Not like Percy. None of you believe me. And you're right. I was scared. But I know what I saw. Percy wanted to tell Sir Topham Hatt about the monster he had seen. But he never got the chance. Percy! I'm sorry about last night, Percy. I really am. Are you, Thomas? I thought at least you were my friend. But I am your friend, Percy. No, you're not. Friends believe each other. When you told me about the footprints, I believed you. But when I told you about the monster, you should have believed me. But Percy, maybe I should go to a faraway land and make new friends. Like Gator, you can stay on solo with the monster. Percy, listen! Percy, I thought I told you. Great.